Hi Rap Candy, it's Ryan and today I'm going to show you how to use your Windows Movie Maker to create a movie using still images. You should already have this installed on your computer if you're using Vista or Windows 7. Um, so to, to open it you just click the start button on the left hand corner and you click on all programs and you look for the Windows Movie Maker and you simply open it up. Once it's open, you're going to want to import some of the images you want to use. Um, you can see that I already have some imported. But to do that, all you do is click on the pictures. You find your picture folder with the images you want to use. You hold the left click down to select multiple pictures. Then let go and select import. But I've already got these pictures imported. So now I'm going to start creating my storyboard. To create your storyboard, first you're just going to select an image and I'm going to kind of go by his age. I'm making this for personal, but you can make this for business. You can have it show off all of the things you make or sell. But for this one, I'm just making a personal one of my son Devin. And I'm just going to left click and hold it down. And I'm going to drag it in and then let go. And I'm going to do this multiple times with the images I want to use to make my video in each format here. Uh, once you're done creating your storyboard, and I'm using 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, about 14 or so images, you can start customizing this a little bit. Um, I clicked on the first part of my storyboard, and if I click the play, it'll start to transition between images every 5 or so seconds. Uh, the total length of the video is going to be 1 minute and 10 seconds. And I'm going to pause this here, and now I want to, uh, maybe you want to have a title in the very beginning you can click on titles and credits and then you'll have options for creating word titles so I'm gonna do one at the very beginning and I'm just gonna type in Devin Sawyer and I'm gonna go ahead and add the title and now it's gonna be right here in the beginning and you can add titles or text anywhere you want in your movie you just have to um, select it uh, next we're gonna do transitions I want some kind of effects between each image. So I'm going to click on the transition and I'm just going to start adding random transitions and I'll show you what these look like once I'm done. So I've gone ahead and dropped and dragged all of my transitions and you can view what a transition will look like by clicking on the still image here and pressing play and then it starts to show you the transitions that you've selected between each image. I'm going to pause that. Uh, while I was doing this I noticed that I wanted to add a couple more pictures and to do that you go up here to the top and just select on imported media. Now if you need to add extra pictures that are not in your imported media you just click on the picture button here or the picture link and then you just um, highlight the, the pictures you want to add and then just import them. Okay. So next, I am going to get ready to um, compile this video. First, I'm going to save it. Just go File, Save Project, As. And I'm going to save it as a Windows Movie Maker project so I can edit it later if I want to. Now, you won't be able to upload this video to YouTube. So I'm saving it here. and then. That allows me again to be able to make changes later. But I'm going to go ahead and compile this video. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you, you can add music or audio. But because I don't have any audio or music that I can publicly use, that's not because I don't have anything that's copyright free, I'm going to show you how to get audio from YouTube because YouTube allows you to use a bunch of different artists' music. And once you upload your file, you'll be able to add it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and file. And now I want to get one ready for YouTube, so I'm going to go File, Publish Movie. This will make it in a, in a format that um, YouTube can use. And I'm going to publish it to this computer. And I'm going to just leave it there. It's going to be in my videos. And I'm just going to do the best quality for playback. And Publish. Okay, so my, my movie has been published it's created and now I'm ready to upload it to YouTube and after that I will add audio to it. Uh, please see part two of this video for more information.